Is it tough love or institutional child abuse? Agape boarding school in Stockton, Missouri promises to turn around rebellious boys, but some are telling KBC 9 investigates Haley Harrison. The school was home to more sinister criminal acts. In a new lawsuits filed against Agape, some former students claim verbal, physical and sexual abuse, and they say don't just take their word for it. They'll prove it. You never knew what was going to set off a staff member. James Griffey was 15 when he says he was beaten by a staff member at Agape boarding school. I can't think of a time when physical abuse to a kid beating up a child is is the way to get through to them. Video recently surfaced online from a 1999 incident. It appears to show the school's then pastor chasing a boy in a bathrobe. Griffey says he was there watching. You're almost like encouraged in a way to laugh at it and like kind of like, you know, join in. But watch now. Spectators saw the pastor kick the boy twice. I see that and a lot of us see that and we're just like, like that is mild. The video follows numerous allegations of abuse against Agape, a Christian reform school for boys, which until the new law in 2021 had virtually no state oversight due to its faith-based status. I'm here not as Paris Hilton, but as a survivor. It's part of the largely unregulated troubled teen industry, boot camps, wilderness therapy, and boarding schools promising to improve a child's behavior. It's a nearly $1.2 billion industry with former students like hotel heiress Paris Hilton now speaking about the abuse they say they endured as teens. Robert Buckland attended Agape from 2007 to 2012 and is now suing the school. Oh, it's a torture compound. Once, Buckland says a staffer choked him with an electrical cord. Left ligature marks and, you know, my family was never notified. DSS was never notified. Um, he should have been charged for attempted murder. Buckland wrote to his parents, I hate life. I don't want to be here. I wish I was never born. Letters staff refused to mail. They love these students. A former employee kind says he had almost really no job believe, training. I believe majority of the staff members genuinely care, majority, not all, genuinely care about the outcomes of the students. They are just grossly underqualified to deal with them. Griffey says his parents sent him to the school because of drug use and bad grades. He went to Agape troubled and left traumatized. When I came out of the program, I was completely screwed up. And Griffey and Buckland both want the school shut down. Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt recommended criminal charges against 22 staff members at Agape. But last year, the Cedar County prosecutor only charged five with third degree assault. Agape's website also claims it's accredited. We contacted Accreditation International and a spokesperson tells us the school lost its status two years ago. And tonight, no response from Agape.